In this video, we're going to be removing rust from certain items, and we're going to be using two things. We're going to be using a rust remover, like this one and this one, and also a rust converter. We'll be discussing the differences between the two, when you should use one over the other, and everything else in between. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so rust is a form of corrosion that occurs when iron or its alloys, such as steel, are exposed to oxygen and moisture over time. This is a chemical reaction known as oxidation, and this leads to the formation of iron oxide, which is the reddish-brown compound commonly referred to as rust. Rust weakens the affected metal, causing it to degrade and eventually crumble if left untreated. It's a common issue with metal objects and structures like cars, particularly those exposed to the outdoor elements. So on our rust removal journey here, these are a couple of very popular products that people seem to use. But some people often get confused when to use one and not the other, and the benefits of each one. Let's talk about a rust remover. A rust remover actively removes rust from a metal surface by breaking it down and separating it from the metal. This leaves a bare metal surface that requires further treatment after the removal process. A rust converter, on the other hand, chemically reacts with the existing rust, converting it into a stable compound that stays on the metal surface, essentially sealing the rust away and preventing further corrosion, but not fully removing the rust itself. Now, rust removers come in all different shapes and sizes and formulas. Some can be reused, some can't be reused, some can be diluted with water, some not. So it's important to check the label. There are some benefits to using different ones, one which can be diluted with water, like this one right here. You can control the strength of the formula. If you want something to remove some really stubborn rust, then you can dilute it with a small amount of water. Whereas one which is pre-diluted, you kind of at the mercy of the manufacturer right here. Now a rust remover like this one here is for heavily rusted components that may need further treatment. It's good for small items which are difficult or impractical to paint like nuts, bolts, screws. Smaller items which can be removed and placed into a container so you can't really do this with a car door for example. When using a rust remover, you may need to do some additional cleaning, so with a wire brush or a sander, for example, because the rust is really caked on there. It's a very thick chemical reaction. So by removing additional rust, you're giving it the best chance for rust removal. Rust remover is highly versatile. Rust removers can be used on a variety of metal surfaces, including steel, cast iron, wrought iron, making them very versatile for different applications. However, when using rust remover, you can cause some surface damage and damage to your tools, parts, screws, bolts, and things like that. Some rust removers may cause damage to the underlying metal surface if left on for too long or used incorrectly. For example, if you have some nuts, bolts, and screws, which are zinc coated or steel coated or anything coated like that, it's going to remove it without hesitation. So do be wary what you put in this solution, and also be wary on how long you put it in for. When using rust removers, make sure your items are fully submerged. Here's an example of a partially submerged item. You can see it removed the rust on one side and not the other. So just a bit of a tip there. When working with rust removers, they are very harmful to skin, eyes, and everything else, especially with a solution that needs dilutings. It's very important to use gloves, eye protection, and everything else. Also, make sure you're working in an environment where it can be easily vented. You can breathe because this is very harmful to the air, especially when you put rusty objects in here and it causes a reaction. Make sure you do it outside where you can see the sky so you're not filled in a room where you're almost choking to death. It's probably also a good idea to make sure your container is actually big enough for the items you want to remove rust from. So within just 30 seconds of these items soaking in the rust remover, you can already see a chemical reaction taking place right now. It's important to check this regularly so it doesn't eat away at your items and potentially destroying them. This smells very, very bad. It can smell like sulfur or rotten eggs or something. So do be wary about breathing it in as well. 
Some rust removers can work within 10 minutes or even several hours. Depending on the product you're using, the time can vary, and this will depend on the strength of the solution as well. My advice is to keep checking this at intervals, perhaps every hour, to make sure your things aren't being eaten away by the remover. As I say, it's highly corrosive, so you can easily damage some of your tools. So do be wary what materials you place in this solution. Once you feel all the rust has been removed from your items, here's some machine bolts I did earlier. They just finished two hours ago. Now, flash rust can occur on these items within 24 hours. It can happen very, very quickly. So once your items are finished, it's very important to treat the surface. This could be a primer, a paint with a primer, or something like that. But wait. How do you paint screws and bolts and things like that? Well, we don't need to. We just need to treat this with some oil, maybe a very light coating like some WD-40, and just keep them in a container like this, for example. That way, flash rusting has a much less chance of occurring. Okay, let's talk about a rust converter now and how that differs in terms of preparation and everything else. Now, rust converter is used where rust removal is difficult. You can apply it to the rust directly. When rust is converted, the rust will turn a dark purple to a black color, which actually shows the presence of the rust. This can happen within 15 to 20 minutes. It happens very quickly. This kind of dark purple black solution acts like a primer so it can be pretty much painted straight over. Although I would probably use a separate primer as well. Really the choice is yours, it depends on the object and the surface. Rust converters are good on large items which cannot be submerged in a container for example. This could be car body parts, fences, railings and things like that. Rust converter is best used on light rust, not heavily rusted areas as the converter cannot penetrate deeply into the rust and it only treats the top layers. However, that being said, you can remove a lot of the surface rust and ensure that the converter gets down deeply, but that requires a lot of preparation work. Therefore, converting the rust does not allow you to fully inspect the integrity of the metal surface, which can actually mask areas of weakness. So perhaps not use a rust converter on items which are safety critical, unless you can test the structure yourself. Rust converter is not suitable for surfaces and objects which are exposed to high temperatures and also for things like inside of fuel tanks. So in these instances, you should use a rust remover. Okay, so back to the rust remover now. This solution can be reused multiple times, but the more times you reuse it, the less effective it's going to be. Let's take a look at some of the items we put in at the start of the video. Okay, so 24 hours later, you can see it's cleaned up quite a bit. Now, most of the rust is gone. You can see there's some residue left behind. Now this is probably due to either the material, the amount of rust, or the exposure time, or even the product being used if you're using a cheap product. Here's our wrench here. So that's not rust, I'm not sure what that is. You can see there's a tiny bit of rust there, otherwise it doesn't look too bad. There's our pottery tool. Looks quite nice, hasn't really affected the wood. And there's our drill bit. I think a lot of the orange in the threads there is actually brickwork. But most of the rust, well if not all the sort of surface rust on there, is almost completely gone.
So to summarize the video, it doesn't really matter which products you use to an extent. It just depends on the materials being used, your expectations, and also the size of the object as well. But both products are designed to remove rust, one removing and one converting. The choice of which one to use is up to you. But I hope the video highlighted the differences between the two products, when to use them, and what to expect as a result. I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more like this coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.